This video is brought to you by Formats. There's a lot of web providers out there and I've tried a few of them but haven't really found anything like Formats. Uh, couldn't be happier with them. It's affordable, it's easy to update and manage, and the templates look great. Uh, I've been using Format for a couple of years now and I'm always impressed with the uh, expanded number of options they have, the easy use, uh, and the excellent customer support. So if you're looking for a new option for your portfolio, check out Format by clicking the link in the description below. For more car photography videos, be sure to subscribe with the link below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Tom England Photo. Hey folks, welcome back to this video. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at a technique that you can use to clean up some of the reflections in your photo. Uh, ultimately, you'll want to use a polarizer for your photo, but even with that, uh, you can still have uh, a couple unwanted reflections. Uh, also, I don't think all reflections are bad and I feel it can add a little bit of immersion of the car within its environment. Um, this technique uses mostly two tools, the pen tool and the clone tool, and learning to use the pen tool is crucial to this technique. Uh, there's a number of tutorials out there on using a tool and it can be uh, tricky to use, but uh, really it's invaluable once you learn the basics of it. Uh, I'm gonna speed through a lot of this because it's using the same technique on different areas of the car. Uh, this is not a tutorial on eliminating reflections completely, uh, but getting rid of small distractions in the reflections uh, that you have, such as buildings, uh, people, other cars, for example. So let's take a look. Now we'll zoom into this photo and we'll take a look. Now with this car, this Porsche came in uh, GT4. Uh, you can see there's some reflections from the power lines. Uh, there are reflections of myself and the owner of the car standing behind uh, watching me work and there's some buildings here this was uh, some buildings to the side that are reflected in the car and uh, some other things as well that will kind of correct but uh, really just kind of clean up a little bit all right great so we took out the uh, the portions here in the front now with this make sure you use a new layer with that so you can quickly uh, turn on and off to see how your progress is going now for this portion here we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to make a selection so we'll draw a selection around here and we'll just clean this up and we're going to paint this in with uh with pretty much all black but we'll make a selection around this little front portion here of the car now this is going to be a small adjustment but it's going to be uh, crucial it really does clean up the photo quite a bit making the selection and we'll feather it to 0.2 pixels which i find is a good Good range of pixels you don't want it too sharp but you don't want it uh, a blurry selection as well and what i'm doing is i'm sampling a color here from down below and in, in uh, kind of the shadows here with the trees and i'm painting along with this and what that does it just cleans us up so on and off Let's see the difference here we'll zoom in to take a look a uh, little bit of cleanup here that i missed with the selection that's an easy cleanup okay great so we'll zoom out We'll just look around this photo here and we'll use the same technique here just to get rid of the um, the trees now it's still going to be a reflection but we'll make the selection around this use the same tool and we're going to just select some areas here in the front over here and just paint over the section here quickly go through that and that just takes that out now of course there's still reflections there it's not perfect but it does take out the uh, the trees zoom it out take a look so far on and off and that's our progress so far with that and as you see it's just cleaning up the reflections that are on the car not eliminating uh, every reflection we have so same technique here we'll use the pen tool we're just going to make a selection with this and we'll start here we'll curve around here and go all the way around zoom out so we can get a better look there we go so that's the selection there 0.2 and same thing again we'll paint over this sampling other areas in the photo and that cleans up the front a little bit more. All right, great, so that takes care of that portion there. And we do have some reflections that are on the hood. 
and we'll move over to the side of the car as well. Same thing with this, we're using a combination of the pen tool to make selections and the clone tool to paint over it. Great, we'll sample here and we'll quickly paint over this portion here. Speeding through this. Now, since we are speeding through this, this technique can be quite time consuming depending on what, uh, what elements you're removing uh, from the photo. So keep that in mind when you're going through using the, uh, the clone tool and the selections, depending on how specific you want to get or how difficult uh, the reflections are to get rid of, it can take you some time to go through. Back to the front of the car and we'll make the selection here. That's doing something similar to what we had near the top. Make a selection around this and copy a selection from front here and paint over this here. Okay, and we'll invert the selection so we can get the other side of the selection we had. There we go, that's looking pretty good so far. And as you see here, we have a person, this isn't me, uh, I am to the left here, but uh, you can't see me because I'm just on the ridge there. But we'll clean it up. Now we'll just do some simple cleanup first, and that's taking out top portion, this person's uh, the body. And we'll just make sure it blends in well with the, uh, the clouds that are reflected. And take out the foot, and just clean this up. All right, so that's great. So we're going to make a pen, uh, we're going to use the pen tool to make a selection around this portion here. And this will make the, uh, the reflection, this dark reflection, which are the trees in the background, um, much cleaner. All right, there we go. So we'll make a selection there, 0.2 pixels again. And we'll start sampling this portion here and painting over. And what we're doing here is we're just expanding the dark area we're making a nice selection on the top here so the reflection is nice and clean and zooming out to just take a look you can see the difference this makes here and we're going to do the same thing here with the side and this this is a little more difficult we have some curves here and but first we have to get rid of some of these power lines that we have so we'll paint out there because we don't want the reflection to be too large And painting along here, let's just get rid of this quickly. All right, great. So that's good so far. We'll take this out. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to use uh, the pen tool to make a selection. And we'll paint in using uh, other portions of the car to make a nice, consistent reflection on the side of the car. Okay, we'll move that and up around here. Put a little curve to this as well, curve with the building. Make sure that's uh, consistent. Point two, great. So we need to zoom out because we need to sample the portion here from the front. And we'll just paint over this. Gotta be careful with this selection. Zooming in, now we can sample from here now that we have a good basis and paint that in. All right, deselect, that looks good so far. We'll do some further cleanup on that. And moving over to this portion here. Now let's get rid of, I don't know what that is there, but let's at least make it the same as the rest of this bottom portion. One of the trees, some are some is the grass as well. Uh, but when you zoom out, that's gonna look pretty good. Now let's make a selection around here. We'll go with the curve of the door and the concave of the door. Right, and around, and selection. Make the selection, and same thing. So we will sample a portion here, and we'll start painting over small portions at first, and then when we have more real estate to work with, we can copy that, and painting that over. All right, this is looking good. Make sure we got that here. And zooming in, we'll get around the uh, the door handle here. 
Should have did this in the first selection, but that's okay. And same thing, sampling, some portions here, painting over, make a nice consistent dark reflection. There's some portions here I missed, so we'll just clean these up. A little jagged here. Let's just clean this, a little more consistent. And zooming out, you can see there's small fixes that need to be made. And around the GT4 logo, the emblem that's on the side of the car, we want that to stand out a little more. So I'm gonna make a selection here with the shadow. Let's make that selection. And then once I'm done with this, I'm gonna add a little of the lighter reflection so we can see the whole GT4. It's not a combination of uh, light, uh, a lighter reflection and a darker reflection. So let's just sample a color and we'll zoom in so we can quickly paint around the area, just leaving the GT4 visible. All right, paint around this. And this is gonna be very small in the photo, but it does make a difference. And we're simply just taking our time to paint around the four. Okay, that's looking good. All right, great. So that's pretty good so far. And now we, what we gotta do is make a little selection here. And we'll paint that out. Okay, great. And one more selection so we can make this nice and straight. And we'll pull this down to here. And leaving the grass, the lighter grass, just to be consistent with the, uh, the rest of the shadow, that's our rest of the reflection that's on the side of the car. Sampling a portion again and painting in this area. So again, with this technique, this uh, what this does is uh, kind of cleans up some of the, the reflections you have. Um, absolutely use a polarizer if you can to get rid of the most reflections. But like I said, I don't, uh, I think reflections do add to the photo. Some are not great, but uh, others do add uh, quite a bit and I do like uh, some of the reflections in my photos. So it's really just cleaning up and making sure some of the, uh, some of the power lines are gone, some of the other, uh, other distractions which are easily eliminated. And we're painting over here, making the same selection once again. And what we're gonna do is sample a color and paint over this. So as you can see with this, it is a time consuming uh, process that you're looking at here. Uh, but uh, looking at the before and after when we're done, you'll see there are quite, um, quite a bit of difference with the two photos uh, and it's a much cleaner look. All right, we're painting this here. Okay, that's great. Zooming out. All right, great. So here's before and after. Just a few before and after clicks here on and off. You can see the difference in the photo. And that's really it. So going through that technique, it really helps you clean up some of the reflections you have. And that's just one technique I use when I do have small distractions in the photo that unfortunately I wasn't able to get rid of when I captured the photo. And I want to clean up to uh, make the, the car look best. So that's it. Thanks, um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video. I'm falling down from the sky and from the ground. A bumper just like this.